Every year when students return to campus, they always get sick. Sure, it could be new germs or a new environment, but what's really causing these lingering sicknesses? Students here call it the Athens Plague. So we talked to students to find out what that really means. How do you think you got sick? Definitely the, condition, the air conditions in my room. Uh, I think the air conditioner filter plays a really big part of like the air I was breathing in. Probably wasn't the best, a lot of dust. Probably some mold. I think I got sick when I went back to classes and just everybody was like back in a big lecture hall. I'm in like a pretty big chemistry class mm -hmm. and so all my friends were getting sick and I think that's how I got it. Uh, I think the air conditioner in my dorm building. What dorm do you live in? Truthly. Truthly, okay. And so what do you think was wrong with the air conditioner? It was disgusting. Like it was filled with lint and everything and it just was really gross. In the showers, the curtains were dirty, not white, they were brown. It was really gross. According to a healthcare worker at Oblenes Hospital, she said they commonly see viral illnesses such as sore throats, upper respiratory infections, mono, and other bacterial infections like strep throat. What are the symptoms you're having with this sickness? Um, I just have a really bad cough and a cold and like a headache. So what do you think the sickness is? Maybe a sinus infection or bronchitis. I ended up getting, I think, the flu. I had like sort of like a cold, and I actually ended up going to the doctor and got uh, diagnosed with a sinus infection. So like all that bacteria kind of like built up, leading to the sinus infection. So I had like, a, I had kind of like a mucusy cough, runny nose. So I have like a cough pretty bad and a sore throat, and I was just super tired and just sleeping all the time. Um, and I didn't get it treated. I just kind of like waited it out and just took like a bunch of medicine on my own. The healthcare worker recommends supportive treatments, such as over-the-counter meds and at-home therapies for viral illnesses, because they offer some relief, but sometimes you just need to let the infection run its course. For bacterial infections, she recommends actual antibiotics from the doctor. So how long have you had this sickness? Um, like three and a half weeks. Yeah, they linger. Um, so what are you going to do to help like treat this sickness? Um, I'm going to Hudson right now to see if they can help me out. Probably I'd say roughly two to three weeks, yeah. And as a sophomore, like, do you think that you got sick like this last year? Or is this like yeah. new? Actually, the same exact thing happened last year. I got a sinus infection right around the same time last year with the exact same symptoms. As a junior, do you get this sickness every year? Um, I got it last year as a sophomore, but not really as a freshman, and then I did get it this year as well. So why do you think you didn't get it as a freshman? Like, when do you think it started getting bad? Um, I think just kind of after, like, sophomore year, and there was, like, more in-person classes and things like that, where it was just, like, closer, and I lived in, like, a house with a bunch of girls. Yeah. So I think that it was just, like, being around more people, and I just right. wasn't used to it. The healthcare worker said when students get sick, Campus care at Hudson Health Center is available for in-person and telehealth appointments Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. If you need assistance later in the evening or on the weekends, the Ohio Health Athens Urgent Care is open for same-day appointments. Overall, doctors recommend increasing fluids and increasing rest, using nasal saline, throat lozenges, hot tea, and any other similar remedies you may have to relieve any symptoms. This has been Kendall Timms reporting for The Post.